Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to call a jQuery function when we submit a custom form. So this action will be going to happen by the Ajax. So this is the form which I already created. So next what I'm going to do, I'm going to my Ajax, uh, the custom form, and I'm going to make this form as Ajax submit. So for that in the submit, what you have to do, you have to add Ajax stands to the function name callback and the function that I'm going to say set uh, Ajax submit. So this is the function which I'm going to call. And then here you have to mention the function public function set ajax submit and then in this function we need to uh, add two namespace here so one is ajax response and another one is ajax invoke command so we are going to call a jquery function with the help of invoke command so this function will help us to call the uh, jQuery function from uh, PHP. So now what, what we have done, we have initialized the function. Next, you have to create a response, which is Ajax response, new Ajax response, and then dollar response stands to add command of the uh, the uh, invoke command argument invoke command open here html the tag or any class whatever you want you can mention here and then next one is you have to mention the uh, function that the jquery function which you are going to call that is i am going to check mention that as data check and next we need to return the response so return it once you return we need to include a js library so this is the js library i'm going to include in the form so it's already i included so this library is for this js file and this is the js file i'm going to uh, use so from this function i am going to call a js function called data check here i am going to include it so here i am going to define a function data check equal to function In that function, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just alert something. And then saved it. So here, what we have done is that in the submit, we have added a Ajax API. From that Ajax API function, we defined Ajax response. From that Ajax response, we are adding a invoke command. Invoke command will call to the jQuery function. This function I have defined in this file and just i'm printing working in this okay so whenever you do any uh, js action you have to make sure that you have included that js library in the form or whatever the controller or whatever the page okay so here i included this is the library file where, where i included this js file and i included this library in the custom form okay so now all done next what i'm going to do i'm going to the website and here I'm just going to uh, clear the catchy ones. So let's clear the catchy. So when we submit this function, we should get the alert of working, okay? And I'm going to submit this function now. Submit. 
you can see the alert is getting called. After that, you can call the submit function. This uh, this invoke command API you can use when you want to uh, do any add class or remove class or any attribute if you want to add or if you want to toggle any class on, on those cases, you can use it. So based upon the form data or anything, so you you can pass one more argument. So whatever it can be, it can be a class or ID or whatever you want. So by using this argument and this is an array, so whatever you want, you can add. And based upon this value, if you want to do any action here, you can do in this data check function, okay, from the argument. And then uh, after this, if you want to make this form submit by itself, you can do that too here. This is the form. So I'm going to submit this form. You can do the submit if you want, okay? Once you add it. Give the value. That form is submitted successfully, okay? So that's it about uh, today's video. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.